y'all, this is Jill Martin, and it is Christmas time in beautiful East Tennessee. You know, there's nothing as special as a real Appalachian Christmas with all the fresh greenery and the yummy food. And today we have the special pleasure of being at the Museum of Appalachia. And we're talking to Elaine, who is the president here, and she's going to tell us all about their annual, very, very special event, a candlelight Christmas. So Elaine, tell us why you started this event. Well, you know, people have been asking for a long time, um, what do you do at Christmas time? What do you do for candlelight Christmas? And we were like, we've never thought about lighting up the cabins because, you know, Christmas was kind of a, uh, a somber time in Appalachia. Mm -hmm. So we started one year with everybody just holding a candle and walking through the village. People loved it, loved it, so they came back and they said, what about lighting some of the cabins? So we did that the next year. We lit up a couple of cabins and then we've been doing a little bit more every year. We have carolers in different cabins, music in several of the cabins. We have um, a live nativity scene. We have blacksmithing. We have um, several other crafters that come in and do things during that time. We also have our animals that come out. We have a petting zoo. People really like that. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of a fun evening. You can see the museum in a different light. We have a little bit of cooking over the open fire. So mm -hmm. just all kinds of special, special things. And you see the museum in a whole different way. So what about the decorations? You know, in Appalachian culture, the fresh greenery and berries and those handmade decorations were always so special and integral to the celebration. What about here? How does yeah. that work? Every cabin is a little bit different. In one of our cabins in the Homestead House, we have some old postcards. They're around the turn of the century. Some are a little bit older, and you can see the beautiful uniqueness of every single postcard and see who they're written to and where they're from and uh, what's going on and the holiday greetings. And then you move over to the schoolhouse, and those are all made by the school children from Norris Elementary School. Mm. And then in the Mark Twain family cabin, we have sweet gum balls, sycamore balls um, hanging on the tree because that's what that family remembered. And then in the dirt floored cabin, they just had a dormant tree and they had apples hanging from the tree and cotton balls, real cotton with seeds still in the cotton hanging from the tree. So every cabin is a little bit different with the decorations, but it really makes you think about what we have today. And I think it makes you a little bit more thankful for what we have and appreciative and um, just kind of appreciate the simpler times. And there's a lot for children to do, I know, here. Of course, they're going to love the live nativity, but there are also some wagon rides, right? That's right. Yeah, we have some wagon rides. And everything, I think, is family friendly. One of my favorite things with children is that the family is telling stories. They're sharing their times as children. Mom, Dad, what did you do? Did you have this? Did you have that? <laughs> and they will share those stories. So it's, it's, it's that oral history being passed down from grandparents to parents to children and it really is that special sharing time. And recipes, of course, we all love Appalachian food. Yeah. So the restaurant is open as well, correct? That's right, that's right. Our restaurant is open and we do all the old time family recipes. Again, that's an oral history. That's, this is the food that we ate. This is what my grandparents used to fix me. And that's another part of that sharing. Another tradition that is so key to Appalachian culture at Christmas is stories told around the Christmas tree and passed down from generation to generation. I'm sure you have that covered, don't you? We do, we do. We have um, a lovely, lovely woman, Mary Hammond, who is going to be reading the, uh, the real Christmas story, as she calls it, out of the Bible. And she is about 95 years old, and she is such a treasure. She will be here reading that story. So you will really, really enjoy that. So the best way to get tickets is online, right? At the Museum of Appalachia.org, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, and I'm really excited personally. I'm coming and bringing my family. I'm so thrilled. 
But I was loving the fact that you have an, a, a family ticket option this year. Yes, we sure do. Yes, you can purchase your tickets either as individuals or as a family, so we have both available. And social distancing is something that you're allowing for in your ticket purchases, correct? Yes, absolutely. Um, we want um, you to purchase your tickets online so that we can make sure that we don't have too many people here at one time. So in case you don't get tickets, because they are going to go super fast, yes. this is a wonderfully special event. The decorations will still be up throughout the month of December, correct? Absolutely. Yes, they will. So this year, guys, please do not miss the chance to come to this wonderful candlelight Christmas event at the Museum of Appalachia. Make sure to go online and get your tickets for December 11th or 12th and enjoy this special event.